You're mine now, rabbit. Yay! Oh. Thomas, what's going on here? My two boys getting along. Nothing could make me happier. Ooh, I'm a rebel just for kicks now. I got us into Peter Rabbit. My name is Brandon Cadaver, and this is just my opinion. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Peter Rabbit. I really do appreciate it. But before we get into the review, help your boy out by clicking that subscribe button. Also, click that little bell so you can be notified when I make uploads and give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So now we have Peter Rabbit. And, you know, um, I remember once I went to the movies with my mom and uh even before that i saw the trailer in the theaters a couple of times and i laughed and i saw the trailer with my mom once when we went to the movies uh like a number of weeks ago and she was just like ah i'm not looking forward to that movie i was like, oh it looks kind of funny or whatever and you know it, it just like i wasn't excited about it but it was just something you know that one scene in particular that just really stood out to me and it was like really the only thing that made me want to see the movie uh but i'll, I'll talk about that in a second but we have peter rabbit here um, it's being directed by uh, Will Gluck. If you don't know him, he directed the remake of Annie with Jamie Foxx that came out in 2014. And he also did Easy A um, with, uh, man, uh, I forgot her name. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. But Easy A, I love that movie. That movie was like a 9.95 out of 10 for me uh, when I saw that a number of years ago. That was like one of the best movies of the year uh, for me, Easy A. Um, I, I love that movie. It was freaking fantastic. But, you know, we have Peter Rabbit. And I'll go ahead and say that I haven't seen Annie, but easy. Not I haven't seen Annie, but the remake. I've seen the original. But Peter Rabbit is not good. It's easy. A that movie was like just freaking flawless to me, but it was still somewhat entertaining. But of course, uh, Peter Rabbit is just this is an adap adaptation of Beatrix. Uh, Beatrix Potter's classic of Peter Rabbit, you know, the uh, the rabbit that's always getting the mischief, always just trying to steal, you know, vegetables and things like that. And, you know, that is what rabbits do. They do eat vegetables. They do eat greens and salads and all that good stuff. And um, the best thing about this movie that I really did enjoy is the uh, is the CD. I keep saying CD, the CG animation, um, tying that in with all these uh, CG animals um, whether it's a moose, a pig, a squirrel, a raccoon, um, uh, not, there wasn't a cat in this movie, but a little mouse or, of course, the rabbits, they really did blend in extremely well with the live action characters. And Peter Rabbit is being voiced by uh, Joyce, being voiced by James Corden. Uh, he was in the remake of um, uh, The Three Musketeers. Uh, he's also been in Doctor Who. He's been in a you know a number of films and a lot of TV. He has like over sixty acting credits. And then you also have Rose Byrne. Her name is Bay or Gemina Puddle Duck. And you know she loves the rabbits, but you know the neighbor doesn't like the rabbits. And basically the rabbits are just trying to in this movie is just rushing to the garden, steal all the vegetables. And the new guy coming in, he doesn't want them there. And so they're just battling back and forth, just kind of like the rabbits versus human. And of course, it's inevitable. They're probably going to have to make up and all that good stuff. But then you have Rose Byrne coming in and she's kind of like the dividing line. And so it's just really, you know, that's really much the premise of the movie. Um, like I said, I really did love the CG animation. The jokes in this movie of them battling back and forth, that was the best part. I was laughing my butt off, especially from the trailer where um, he put up the electrical fence and, you know, they re-rigged it to where when he goes up and grabs the door handle, it's, it electrocutes the man and sends him flying across the room. I laughed my butt off every time I saw that in the trailers and it did not get old. When I saw this in the movie, I laughed my butt off too. I, I knew it was coming and it was a highlight of the film for me. And I laughed my butt off. Even I, I saw this with a bunch. It was a bunch of kids uh, in the screening and there was with their parents and guardians and all that good stuff. And they were laughing and I was laughing too. I probably looked crazy because I was like, you know, I, I was in there by myself. I didn't have any kids with me. So they were probably looking at me like, man, you know, what is this grown uh, man doing here? And uh, on a side note, have y'all seen that movie, Little Miss Sunshine? Um, if you ha if you know that movie, there is a scene to where, um, and this is kind of funny in the movie, but kind of creepy in real life. But there's a scene towards the end of the movie to where there's a little girl going to a uh, like a dance recital or something like that. And of course, you know, these are little girls. So if any man is going to be there, 
you know, he's going to be the father of, you know, the, of the child, you know, that's watching this daughter up on stage. If this is a man by themselves, it's just kind of weird. Like, why are you, what, what are you here? And so anyway, I kind of got on a tangent there. That's kind of how I felt in a little lit because, I mean, I was just watching this little Peter Rabbit movie. It was nothing but little kids. And I was like the only adult there that didn't have children. But, you know, whatever. I still had a good time laughing at him, electrocuting the man throughout the door. But. When they were setting booby traps in this room and uh, uh, putting rakes on the ground and him stepping on it and doing this and doing that and fighting fighting with each other. But then when Rose Byrne goes in the other room, I mean, they're fighting. But when she comes back, they're acting like they're getting along. And I'm talking about Peter Rabbit and the other guy. You know, that that was funny. There's not too much other than that in the entire movie. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's, it's extremely short. The movie is like an hour and a half. And I'm not going to say that this movie is freaking amazing. And you just need to go see Peter Rabbit. But I did have a good time. If you was looking forward to the movie already, yeah, go see it. You'll, you'll enjoy it. You'll have a couple of laughs. If you're a parent and you have little children that they're interested, I mean, go. It's corny fun. I have fun. This is not the best movie in the world. But, you know, for some reason, I still got a number of uh, chuckles out of it. Um, and I think you will, too. If I had to rate Peter Rabbit out of a 1 out of 10... I'll give it a 7 out of 10, yeah, a 7 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Peter Rabbit or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. Subscribe to my channel. Go to my website. Check me out there and bookmark it. And look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review of Peter Rabbit. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.